Hi Vogue, this is Barbie Ferreira. I'm gonna show you some looks that I wear in a week. We got date night, we got on set, we got it all. Let's tune in. Okay, so this is my set look. A little Fendi uh, two-piece Simon Miller bubble clog. And a little Marc Jolla bag that I wear almost every day. A little Marc Jacobs clip. This is of course, me being fancy, fancy on set. Not every day do I wear something as cute as this, but you know, we give it a little, a little moment for you guys. Heidi Bivens is the costume designer of Euphoria, a living legend, she's iconic. So a lot of my favorite designers and her favorite designers that we really love will just kind of get like clothes that are more cat-like, but usually it's a very collaborative process. I've literally worn things on the show that were from my closet. Um, and a lot of it is modeled after what I wear, of course, with like within the color palette and within like the character. Shh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Heidi, I'm sorry. I did take the Vivian Westwood corset. <laughs> I did take it. She hasn't asked for it back, but it is in my house. Um, you will see it later in the season. On to the next. So this is my red carpet fancy look if I'm trying to dress to impress. When I'm thinking about my red carpet looks, I first go on Vogue Runway and I go through all of the shows. I pick things that I really like and then I'll probably head over to Pinterest or to one of my saved albums and I'll get um, some of my favorite inspirations that I've been kind of saving and I try to build like the hair, makeup, look to it. I think the scariest moment on a red carpet was about 20 seconds before I walked out into the Met Gala. A string of pearls just fell on the ground and we all were like, <gasps> and I really thought my whole dress was gonna unravel. Like I could have sworn it. I was like, that's it. Pearls everywhere. I was like left pearls all over like the entryway. <laughs> it was a little bit dramatic and glamorous, I will say. Thankfully, I did not unravel. I think I have a lot of fashion icons. I think like Drew Barrymore, Rose McGowan, kind of like the 90s darlings I always go to. Um, a little Dita Von Tees sometimes, Winona Ryder. I go for like the girlies that I look up to and I will usually just have like a ton of saved photos and it really just depends on the vibe. I do not have a constant thing I look for in a red carpet, and that's my business. But most of the time, if it's a very structured dress, I like to make sure the waist is cinched. So that's usually uh, a little tailoring that needs to happen. This is my Erin's look. Um, this is a day-to-day. -day cute little moment in LA. You know what I mean? Just like a little something. This top is me out. Uh, these pants are Tyler McGilvery. And these earrings are Mud Pearl. Shout out Mud Pearl. And these shoes are Marjolas. I love me a little tabby. A little Mary Jane. I like to wear pearls a lot, whether it be in my hair, earrings, my preferred way, necklace. So let's go put on some Mud Pearl. This is the new one. Oh my god, I look so excited. A little colorful pearl. There we go. This is cute. Go off, Mary. I love a corset. I've always loved a corset. I used to thrift a lot of them. And I used to pair them with sweatpants. You know, that was just my thing. And now I wear them with real pants. And <laughs> try to make it a little. Oh, cute, but corsets are very fun. I like to have the boobies up, I like to have the waist in, you know what I mean? Who doesn't? And I don't mind a little compression. Everyday looks pretty much consist of recently a little ballet core, and I like some silky bows. I like wearing like little socks too, and little ballet flats. I've gotten a lot of those recently. Small shirt, big pants, great combo, because pants, you kind of want to feel comfy, but then you can have a little crop at the top, you know, give a little a little body, but you don't have to do that the whole time. So it's great. This look um, makes me feel like I'm in my Sex and the City era, which is what I've been going for. <laughs> I feel cute. <laughs> it's like comfortable, but still like, you know, like I'm in Sex and the City, like it's realism, but like, is it? <laughs> it's a little elevated.
So this is my picnic look. It's like a little botanical garden look. If I was going to a zoo, I would wear this. If I was going to a farmer's market, I would wear this. I love to play with color. I love a jewel tone and I also love a pastel. This is like, if I'm going to a picnic, I'm gonna make it very literal. Like I'm wearing flowers on my, on my dress and in my hair and all that stuff. So I like to play around with a lot of my looks, so. So this is my date night look. We have a Colleen Estrada top. We have a Vince skirt and some by far shoes. We have a double earring from Margiela. I need a bag, a little cute bag for date night. Let's go check the closet. Okay, okay. I'm ready. My last first date, I wore some bicycle shorts. It was like a Gautier vintage top. And I had a bathing suit like bra underneath that was really cute. A little silk scarf around my neck. I had my little bob. And I forgot what I was wearing for shoes, but I think it was like these little like, like clanky little, little sandals too. You know, we went and saw a movie at Sinespia and then well, the rest is history. This is kind of giving like Renaissance fair, but in a cute way, I, I assume, and I hope. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure you will anyway. So this is a look for a meeting. It's very much giving the nanny, Fran Drescher. It's also kind of bratty schoolgirl look. I'm a costume kind of girl, so like, you know, if I'm feeling like a little young professional, maybe I'll wear a little blazer. I'm feeling cute and kind of like New York City private school. That's what I will serve. So I think tights are amazing, especially if it's a little chilly. You know what I mean? So. These are really amazing too. I like a little monogram tight. I like showing a little skin. I've always liked a, a little crop top or like anything that has like a little, a little cut out or something. I love a glossy red lip with the silk bow. It just, I don't know, it's kind of Wednesday Adams grown up vibe. This is a going out look a concert look, a karaoke look, dare I say. I love a turtleneck. I love a long sleeve. And I love like a slinky little bodycon moment. And I love a boot that disappears into the dress. So I don't have to shave my legs. <laughs> Not that I have to, but you know. When I have friends over, I will put on like a little something, but then I'll slip into something a little bit more, you know, boom, bam, as Emerald would say, to go out. The bag. How could we forget a bag? Okay, let me go get my Bottega bag. Thank, thank. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna hold it like this. Let's have my Bottega bag. Bottega is youthful. It is the moment. I never ask my friends what they're wearing because all my friends overdress. And that's because we're all from like New York, who you know, now live in LA, but um, we always overdress, come to think of it. And I don't ever ask because I just know. Wow, that was a journey. Thank you for taking a tour of my closet and I hope you enjoyed. A karaoke look, dare I say. I love a little Nicki Minaj, whatever they have available. Chun-Li, we love uh, Super Bass if we, if we go there. Any Lana song that's available as well, that'll be totally okay with me. Where would else be saying? Cassie, me and you, banger. I also, sometimes, my little party truck doing Barbie Girl, cause classic, you know what I mean?